Okay, I'm going to show you a method how to factor trinomials uh, that look like ax squared plus bx plus c, or a, b, and c are uh, real numbers. How to factor those when the a value is not 1 in such a way that you don't have to guess and check. There's no Punnett squares, there's no tic-tac-toe method. It's a process that will uh, help you factor, factor these things and get them right every single time. And it's called the ac method. <clears throat> This is the AC method. Okay, so here's an example. I have 5x squared minus 13x minus 6, and we're asked to factor this thing. Okay, so this is called the AC method because we take the A value and we multiply that by the C value. So we take 5 times negative 6. So we take A times C, which is 5 times negative 6, which is negative 30. We then search for factors of AC, in this case negative 30, that add to B. So we're searching for factors of negative 30 that add to negative 13. So you can think about just making a list of the factors of, of 30, namely 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, uh, 5 and 6, and that's the best we're going to do. So. Uh, one of these is going to have to be negative, and it's going to have to add to negative 13. Uh, so the choices really are between 2 and 15 and 3 and 10. Well, it's not going to be 3 and 10 because those would both have to be negative, and negative times negative is positive. Uh, so it's going to have to be negative 15 and positive 2. So these are the two, these are the two factors of negative 30 we're going, to, we're going to work with. So what we're going to do with these two factors of negative 30 is to actually rewrite our initial expression. Uh, as 5x squared uh, minus 15x plus 2x minus 6. So my two factors were positive 2 and negative 15, and those two added together to get negative 13. And so now this expression here is exactly the same as this expression here. And it wouldn't have mattered if I had written 2x here and negative 15x here, I would have gotten the same thing in the end anyhow. So at this point you group the first two and you group the last two and you pull out the greatest common factor between these two terms and you pull out the greatest common factor between these two terms. So here the greatest common factor is a 5x and I'm left with an x minus 3 and here the greatest common factor is a positive 2 and I'm left with an x minus 3 you will always be left with this pair of binomials that are exactly the same when you're doing this correctly. If you don't have this pair that is exactly the same, you've done it wrong, and you should go back and recheck your work. But if you, if you look at this sort of carefully, you see you have, you have a number here plus a number here. And one of the factors of this number, well, so this number has three factors that we can see. It's got a factor of 5, a factor of x, and a factor of x minus 3. And this number has two factors that we can see, namely it's got a factor of 2 and a factor of x minus 3. So you can see that both of these numbers have a factor of x minus 3. We can then factor that out. So if you factor out the x minus 3, you're left with x minus 3 times 5x plus 2. And you see, if we were to use the distributive property to put, to sort of multiply this x minus 3 back in, we'd have x minus 3 times 5x and x minus 3 times 2. And so this here is the factored form of this expression, 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. It is x minus 3 times 5x plus 2. Now, perhaps this seems like a bit of a process, and it seems like more difficult than guess and check, but I assure you that guess and check is time-consuming, especially when you have uh, an A value like 24. You know, if you have an A value like 24, do you start with 1 and 24? Do you start with 2 and 12? 3 and 8? You know, there's a lot of options there. So this process, the AC method, guarantees you'll get it right every time. So let me show you the, uh, the actual mathematics behind it. If you start with a factored form of, a, uh, <coughs> of an expression of this nature, you know, something like px plus q times mx plus n. And if I were to actually multiply this out, so I'm sort of going in reverse here. If I'm, if I'm going to multiply this out, what I have is p m x squared, p m x squared, plus
plus Pn x plus Qm x plus Qn. Now written as a, a trinomial, this is Pm x squared plus Pn plus Qm x. That's how many x's I have. I have Pn plus Qm x's plus Qn. Now my claim initially was to multiply multiply this a value by this c value. And when you do that, you have pm times qn. And this has this has you know a lot of factors. This has a factor of p, has a factor of m, has a factor of q, has a factor of n, has a factor of pm, has a factor of mq, has a factor of qn, has a factor of pn. So you see all the factors that this thing has. Now, my claim was that there are two factors of this number that add to b. And in fact, if you look at this, you can, you can see that the factors of this number that add to this value are pn and qm. Those are both factors of this product that add to this number. And then what we did from there is we took these two and wrote that expression, and then we used this expression to go back to this expression, to this factored form of the expression. So let me do one more example to sort of uh, cement this idea. So the example will be 2x squared minus x minus 6. We start by multiplying the a value times the c value. So 2 times negative 6 equals negative 12. We then search for factors of negative 12 that add to negative 1. Well, the factors of negative 12, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, that's the best we're going to do. We want a negative 1, so it's going to be the negative 4 and the positive 3. We then rewrite this expression with these two factors that add to b. So we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 6. We group these two terms, we group these two terms. Pull out the greatest common factor here, which is an x. And I'm left with 2x plus 3. Now, I have to be left with the 2x plus 3 here, if you recall. So let's look at the, at the uh, factors here, and we can pull out a negative 2. And when I pull out a negative 2, I'm left with 2x plus 3. Right? So if I multiply that negative 2 back in, I would have negative 4x minus 6. And what this does is it gives me this pair that I can then factor out. So 2x plus 3 times x minus 2 is the factored form of this quadratic expression, 2x squared minus x minus 6. Uh, once you practice this process a little bit, uh, it gets to be rather straightforward, uh, and you get to be quite, quite fast at it. So it's faster than guess and check. It guarantees the right answer the first time every time. Not only that, but it really relies on the mathematics of actually multiplying these two factors together to get this. So this is sort of the most mathy way to do it, in my opinion.